What up everybody, it's your boy Marlon. So today I'm back at it again, but this time we're gonna be doing a quick look at one of the craziest shoes in my arsenal right now, and it's the Kybrid S2 What The. Uh, haven't been able to hoop in the shoe yet because where I'm at, it's snowing on all the outdoor courts and I'm trying to be safe, so I'm not gonna hoop in the, the gyms right now. But yeah, today we'll be doing a quick look at these bad boys so without further ado let's get into the video ah. starting off the bat this shoe actually released last year in october for 140 dollars and there's been multiple colorways since then that have released and you can actually purchase this colorway including other colorways between 100 dollars to 200 dollars depending on where you go this colorway in particular is called is properly called the pineapple. Give me a little history on this shoe. So a few years ago, after Kyrie had had three shoes in his mainline a signature shoe, uh, Kyrie and Nike created a shoe called the Kyrie Hybrid shoe, which was a Frankenstein of the Warren two and three. So they took all three of those shoes and just mashed them together and created one a hodgepodge of a shoe. Uh, that shoe actually released only overseas, if I'm not mistaken. And it was kind of hard to get old in the States, but I personally didn't like the shoe. If it did come in the States, I wouldn't have gotten it. It was pretty ugly in my opinion. You're probably looking at me like, how could you like a shoe like this? Don't worry, I'll get into that. After three more shoes, they created another hybrid shoe called the Kybrid. The so it's like a play on words. So Kyrie and Hybrid, they took those two together and put those two and made Kybrid. So the Kybrid S2 and this shoe is actually comprised of the Kyrie 4, Kyrie 5, and Kyrie 6. It takes a lot of pieces from, I personally think from the Kyrie 4, it looks more like a Kyrie 4 to me, but on the shoe you have the, on the bottoms of the shoe, the outsole of the shoe is actually from the Kyrie 4, as well as the midsole and the four foot of the upper is from the Kyrie 4. And then the staple from the Kyrie 5 is the shroud right here. And then the, the rear of the upper is actually from the Kyrie 6. And then what's different about both shoes is the the, the heel counter of the, uh, the left shoe is actually from the Kyrie 6. And then the heel counter from the right shoe is actually from the Kyrie 5. So that's pretty cool how they were able to change it up on both shoes but in my opinion like i said this looks like a Kyrie four four maybe four and a half to me just from all the stuff they took from the Kyrie four and a lot of the tech specs is are actually from the Kyrie four so i think that's really cool starting at the bottom of the shoe as usual so you got this solid this baby blue solid rubber outsole with a hint of white and black on both shoes and if you put them together it makes like an eye so in Kyrie fashion, he had to put an eye somewhere. It's that all-seeing eye. I probably would have expected it somewhere on the on the shoe on the upper of the shoe. I know you got them on the the two heel counters, but it's cool how he put it on the bottom of the shoe this time too. So it's always it's always on the shoe everywhere you go. There there should be an all-seeing eye on the shoe. But the outsole has a diamond pattern with a fault line going down the middle of the foot with the outsole extending to the midsole and some of the body of the shoe. For me, the Kyrie 4 traction was fine. I wouldn't slip on dusty quartz or anything. And the rubber is pretty hard, so you should be able to use these outdoors as well. Uh, the outsole is rounded, so adding that with the teeth, the shoe allows the players to spin and do more cuts. I personally like how with the roundedness, you can get a quicker step, the quicker first step or something when you're trying to take off or doing fast breaks. I really like that about this shoe. That was actually the main reason why I bought this shoe is because I really love the outsole of the Kyrie 4. Um, that, yeah, that was like the main reason. I just like how the teeth were and I liked how it was rounded up front so I can do like quicker steps or quicker kick, quicker takeoffs. So, so moving on to probably the most boring part about this shoe, the midsole. Um, it's a standard Cushlon setup with the zoom unit in the heel of the shoe. The setup feels fine, but personally for me, I would have wanted the zoom unit in the front of the shoe. Um, it makes more sense to me, especially for this shoe, since it's geared towards players who are using more of their forefoot to do cuts and do more moves with. It makes more sense to me to have that cushion up front, but hey, I wasn't the one who made the shoe, but there's always a reason for something, so. Moving to the upper, the upper is made of a nice canvas fabric with leather tips on the toe boxes or toe drags, which Kyrie does a lot. 
Um, the shroud does keep you locked in very well. With the Kyrie 5, I never had to retie my shoe mid-session, so that's pretty awesome. Only problem I see with this upper is that there's no ventilation, so your feet will be in a sauna. I did notice that in the Kyrie 4s and the Kyrie 5s that I do have that they are heat boxes, so just be prepared for that. But hey, at least you look cool, right? Like I said earlier, this does remind me of kind of like a Kyrie 4.5 or Kyrie 4.5, just because a lot of the, the tech specs come from the Kyrie 4. Like, like I said, the outsole, the midsole, and even the forefoot of the shoe was kind of was from the Kyrie 4. Um, it seems like they just took a Kyrie 4 and upgraded it with newer specs, like a better lockdown and a better hill counter. Um, so I feel like this shoe would have hit different if it came out as the Kyrie four and a half back when the Kyrie it just the Kyrie four it came out probably as like a playoff edition or an SE or a P or something like that. I feel like that this would have been a better shoe back then than it is now. But again, not knocking it. I love the Kyrie four. So when they brought this out, I was super excited for this shoe. So moving on to the fun part about the shoe, the design. So when I first saw this shoe, I was like. The two nicknames that people were giving this shoe were what the and best of. Um, reason for that, um, it fits it very well, but the reason for the shoe, for those different names is because if you look at the shoes, it, they are what does because they are two different, two different shoes when you look at them side by side, but then there's different design elements coming from each of the best known shoes. So like on this side, you got the, the Nike logo from the, Ky the Kyrie 5 SpongeBob. Um, you also got the heel counter from the Spongebob shoe as well as the, the pineapple from the Spongebob shoe. There's a lot of Spongebob on this shoe. Even the tongue from the left shoe is from the Kyrie, well, Kyrie Spongebob collab, so that's really cool. Um, they even got the, the Halloween Nike logo right here from the Kyrie 4 Halloween shoe. And then probably one of the more coveted shoes in the line is actually right here in the rear foot of the shoe. It's this it's called the confetti the Kyrie 4 confetti um that shoe i i personally think was probably one of the more harder shoes to get uh, i think you had to have a certain amount of wins a certain amount of time played in, in um, nba 2k the year Kyrie was on the cover um and then you also got the parent the galaxy low the galaxy Kyrie's up front on the hill on the front of this shoe and you also got the parent norman on this shoe um and then you also got the Be True um, to celebrate the LGBT community on the, on the side of this shoe. Um, but yeah, there's a lot on this shoe. A lot of it, I don't know. I don't know where the sock liners come from. I think this one's from the, from the, the lobster colorway, the red lobster colorway. Um, not, I think this is actually from the Mamba Mentality Kyrie 5 colorway, but I'm not totally sure. But like I said, there's a lot on the, on these shoes, a lot going for it. It's, it's a crazy looking shoe. Um, I like it a lot, so it, it fits it really well. Um, a lot of people probably see this and be like, it's a really fugly shoe. You're not wrong, it's a very fugly shoe, but I think it's so fugly that I think it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if we should make a new name, call it a fool. No, no, no one, no. All right, that's cool. But overall, I suggest this shoe to anybody who's a shifty guard or anybody who's a Kyrie fan, you probably already got this shoe or looking forward to getting this shoe. Um, or if you just like crazy colorways, I suggest particularly getting this shoe because this is a wild colorway. And yeah, um, if you're like me and you really like the Kyrie 4, get this shoe because like I said this is a glorified Kyrie 4.5 and that's why I like it so all right y'all thanks for watching my video if you guys liked it hit that like button down below if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below as well trying to get to 100 followers this year I'll be posting more um this is my first video of 2021 so let me know how you guys feel about it but yeah go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet so I'll road to 100 here we come and yeah, let me know in the comment section down below how y'all feel about the shoe or what you guys are looking forward to the most this year in 2021. But yeah, until then, peace.